Hey, welcome back to Mobility Project, where we are setting a world record in stretching internet consecutive videos every day. Here's what's going on to do. Um, question comes up about, hey, look, you know, I, I understand that I may shorten the anterior hip. I'm an athlete. Check. I work at the desk. I'm a runner. I'm an athlete. Whatever. My capsules get short. We've got to look at the other side. And oftentimes our athletes get short in the kind of the erectors, the QL, this, this fascia gets short. And so I'm short on both sides and certainly kind of undoing that, uh, kind of ungluing this business. And most of us get soft tissue work done or have a, a practitioner, and you know, they always talk about QL. Remember that when we see quadricellum borum or even longissimus in some of these erectors on the side, when they tend to get tight, usually that's pathognomonic for me being overextended. So psoas is tight, these erectors are tight. It's tough to get out of them. In fact, what you'll notice is that when you take the ball and try to smash in there, it's hard to get enough pressure. It's certainly hard to get enough pressure when you land on the ground. Much better way is to get your feet up on something, which basically puts your pelvis in a little bit of flexion. You drop that, and then you can really get some good pressure in there. Now remember, think about these, these tissues are supporting hundreds of pounds of force. I mean, you've got to peel them apart and give them some love. So start right above your bum and just kind of sandwich laterally right above that, that crest on your hip bone, and you'll find some business there, and then just think about moving kind of back and forth on it. Set, set the tone, you know, get, get some moving going, and you find something tight, hang out, and just kind of work it, and back and forth. So homework number one, see if you can unglue this kind of the short back, and certainly a big piece of the puzzle where we see athletes uh, tight and short in, in this position. It's also, we, well, most of the time when we're mobilizing, we're not big fans of trying to stretch your back out, but it's definitely appropriate to go ahead and actually stretch that low back. And the easiest one that most people think about is some kind of twisting rotation. I'm lengthening this tissue here, shoulder drops to the side, I think about sitting long, bring that hip over, that's fine. Well, a couple other variations, cross your leg and even fold forward and you can kind of hit some of those tissues. Whether you decide to kind of tack it on a soft tissue slide service piece first or come into this corner as the second piece, that's fine. I also like to just anchor, use this leg to anchor the hip down and fall away. And you can really open up and tie some of this tissue into the hip. So just kind of rainbow aside, add a little twist to it, and you'll be like, oh, I had no idea it was so tight back there. Some ideas about the QL. Dink around with that for five, six, seven minutes, see what's, how that goes, how that affects the, kind of the tightness in your low back and how you can get much more neutral pelvis. Second piece today, you gotta find some sticky ribs, take your, your trigger point ball, take your, your lacrosse ball, and I want you just to spend two minutes each rib, starting from the top. I'm gonna go on that first kind of the mass of the trap on the other side, you can see it. We're gonna lift up, drive that thing into that first rib, and then try to get that arm up overhead. Also can hang out to the side a little bit, find my tight corners, I'm doing a lot of snatching. Ooh, that's where I'm tight. Hang out, get that rib moving, drive up, same thing through. So a few minutes on the bottom, a few minutes on the top. See you guys tomorrow.